This is a pocket mask. It comes in a clamshell device. So open it up and they come flat packed. So the point of it up and you push from underneath to create a dome. Now it's really important when you use it, you're pressing on this nice squidgy cuff. If at any point you press on the dome, all you do is flat pack it again. This little white nozzle here is where the paramedics can add oxygen in with oxygen tubing. So make sure that is shut or it acts like a nose and the air will just come out. So with the triangle shape, the base is designed to go between the chin and the lip of the casualty. And what you do is you literally pop it on and roll it on. Don't worry if it goes over your casualty's eyes. Now I'm quite lazy. I don't tend to bother to use this elastic because I find it quicker if the casualty does have body fluid to come up to be able to remove it should I need to. And I just find it more of a faff to put on. But do avoid having it underneath the cuff because that will actually give an extra um, barrier for you to try and get a seal around. So pop it on, roll it on. I'm going to use the thumb and first finger web here and I'm going to put it on the top of the mask on the cuff and do my head tilt. I'm going to get a couple of fingers under the angle of the jaw to get that chin lift happening and then clamp down. I'm now pressing around as much of the cuff as my hands can manage to reach. It doesn't matter if you get a little air leak when you're using the mask, it just matters that the casualty gets a chest rise. So I'm going to bob down and breathe through the one-way non-return valve, just enough breath to get a chest rise on my casualty who might have smaller lungs than me. Bob off between your breaths, you can then go back to compressions and then come back to secure your airway. So that is how you would use a pocket mask. If, however, you're doing a resuscitation situation where you've got more than one rescuer available, you might prefer to be at the top of the casualty's head. To save to stay in camera shot, I will just move the mannequin around. And what I'm going to do now is use the thumb and the base of my thumb on both sides, on the sides of the pocket mask device, and I'm going to get my head tilt that way. I'm then going to get whatever finger fits for me underneath the angle of the jaw to lift. And you can see here, there how I get a really good jaw or chin lift and then I'm going to bob down from the top to do my breaths then relax my hands off while a colleague is doing the chest compressions and then I'm ready to get that grip back on and bob down once it's time for the breaths again. In the community we're always working on a ratio of 30 compressions to two breaths. <sighs> 